Hey guys, what's happening? So, the other day I was going through uh, ATX Power Supply Hell trying to build a uh, mining motherboard and couldn't get one to go. It was really weird. It was intermittent. So, uh, I decided to get this uh, Power Supply Tester and it's pretty cool. It's 20 bucks over at Micro Center, made by Kinglin. And they actually make a cheaper one that doesn't have the LCD for 10 bucks, but this is the 20 hour one. But it definitely makes it a lot faster, you know, testing the power supply. Uh, you don't need to actually have one of these. You can do it with the old multimeter and the paper clip trick. You know, if you're not familiar with that, you just put a paper clip between the 5 volt standby on the ground, like that. Then you can test the individual leads with the multimeter. But it's kind of a headache because I had all these power supplies. I mean, I had probably about 20 power supplies I have to go through. That's when I get rid of the old ones that are dead. Um, but it would take forever to do the multimeter thing. So let me show you how this thing works. Pretty cool. Like I said, hopefully it's going to save me a lot of time. So, yeah, because I mean, it's, it's nothing more frustrating than grabbing a power supply that you think is good and it's not working. So, if you're already troubleshooting an existing problem and you grab another bad power supply, it's pretty frustrating. It just makes the problem or makes the troubleshooting a lot worse. So, let me show you how this works real fast. Let me get a good power supply. This is the one I just bought at Micro Center. And basically, just hook up like this ATX connector and plug in. So when you actually plug this in, it basically it bridges the 5 volt standby and the ground. And that's what tells the power supply to turn on. So I could hook up the 8-pin uh, the CPU connector. Or there should be a 4 and a 4. Actually, there it is. This is the actual CPU power. And then you can also test the uh, Molex connector, 4-pin Molex connector. And uh, your serial ATA connector. So typically, at most power supplies, they put out... You know, 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3.3 volt. Let's try this out real fast. Hope you can see it. Let's see if you can see it in there. So this one tests good. So I mean, obviously it's a brand new power supply. So I hope you can see that. It's hard to get the, the reflection. All right, let me show what a bad supply looks like. So this is a uh, Turbo Cool 500 and I think 510 watt. Yeah, 510 watt. Had this one for a long time, probably at least 10 years. All right, let's power it on. When you power it on, it should automatically, if it actually works. Okay, this thing's not even getting power. So, yeah, this one's dead. All right, so that's not a good one to get. All right, so this one is a 420 watt, 425 watt. Of this one. Oh, actually, no, this one's fine. No, I mean normally if it was it was actually having issues, I'd have one of these. One of these would be blinking. But the only problem with this one's an old 20-pin ATX. So I might or might not keep this one. Yeah, they're just not making motherboards with 20-pin ATX anymore. I hope you can see that. Alright, so this is an Antoc Antec 550 watt. Let's see if this thing works. Yeah, see how much time it saved me? Dude. I'm having to bust up the multimeter. Let's see. Alright, so on the Antec, the voltage is very inconsistent. See it beeping around, moving around? That's like the worst you could possibly have for a motherboard. All right, so on the Antec power supply, I mean, you can obviously see the bulging caps here. So that would be the actual issue with the inconsistent voltage. And the main filter caps are all right. All right, and the last power supply, the reason why I got this tester was because of this Photon 1200 watt. So, yeah, this one is about a 300 watt power supply. So, I'd like to fix this thing if I can, or get it under warranty. Power it off. Yeah, this one's just kind of behaving kind of strange. I bought this on eBay for uh, 99 bucks, so. But. Let's try this one out real fast. All right. All right, and then this one is 12 volt. Plus 12 volt rail is low.
See that? So yeah, this actually this one wouldn't fire up a motherboard. That's why that's why when I first plugged it into my mining board, it wouldn't fire up the motherboard. So and that's actually an important rail, <laughs> the plus 12 volt, 12 volt rail. So all right, cool tester for 20 bucks. I mean, I got a lot more power supplies to test. So uh, yeah, hopefully this will save me a lot of time. Cool, awesome.